Hey Grace Posse, welcome back to the Daily Devotion. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys are having a good week. Hope that you guys are being blessed by these devotions. 2 Peter 3, 8 is going to be our focus scripture for today. It says, Dear friends, don't overlook this one fact. With the Lord, one day is as a thousand years, and a thousand years is like one day. Our focus of today's devotion will be trusting God's timing. Joseph was in jail on false charges, but God had given him the ability to interpret dreams. And when the Pharaoh's baker and cupbearer came in, uh, came to him in distress, Joseph was able to help. Genesis chapter 40. The news was good for the cupbearer. He was going to be released from prison and restored to Pharaoh's service. So Joseph made a small request to be remembered to Pharaoh. Genesis 40 verse 14. Joseph protested his innocence without any apparent bitterness in verse 15. But the cupbearer forgot about Joseph. Genesis 40 verse 23. And Joseph stayed in the dungeon two more years. Genesis 41 verse 1. Disappointment causes men to choose self-pity. But Scripture doesn't offer any evidence that this happened to Joseph. When Pharaoh had his dream and needed someone to interpret it, Joseph was ready to go. Genesis chapter 41. It can be difficult to trust God's timing. But when we understand God's love for us, we can move forward in faith, believing that our best days are ahead. That brings us to today's question. In what areas do you need to trust God's timing? God has perfect timing. He's never late and He's never early. He's perfectly right on time. We tend to think when it's down, it seems to be in the physical, down to the wire, God, you're running late, you're running late, we need your help. But He always brings things into our lives at the perfect time. He always allows things to happen in the perfect time. We just need to trust His timing. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Our Heavenly Father, we thank You for this day. We thank You for Your love for us. We thank You, Father, that You have perfect timing. And we ask, Father, that You help us to trust Your timing. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you guys, and I'll see you next time.